Ladies and gentlemen, Matthews here from Emanda Forex Traders. I hope you're doing great. In this video, I'm going to break down how we were able to take this beautiful trade on AUD Swiss and got out right on time and was able to make about a thousand dollars on this particular trade. All right, so stick around and watch the rest of the video because I'm going to break down from what happened from the taking of the trades, management, and all that. All right, so let's go right now. Okay, so what you're going to realize that right here is that. We had a nice rally based drop supply zone. Let me just show you where the signal actually right here. So what we had was this level right here. So early in the morning today, I saw a beautiful setup on AUD Swiss right here. We had a nice push to the upside, break of structure, and then we saw a nice Asian session, which was taken out like always, like I always say, always wait for the Asian session to be taken out. And guess what? Once the Asian session, once the market came to this level right here, it was actually direct on our POI right there. And then guess what? It was game over because I was able to notice another beautiful confirmation candle that I always look for, which is the bearish pin bar right here. Once I saw that, I was like, let's go. I was able to take this particular trade. And then the stop loss was four pips and the target was 100 pips. This was about 128 risk reward ratio, right? Few minutes later, the market was in profit was going all the way in profit right here and they were able to go break even in our private community I was able to call for a break even and after that we saw the market dropping beautifully to the downside creating lower lows and lower highs and then lower lows right that was beautiful and then once the market came here I directed the community to actually move their stop loss to this particular price point right here it was this level right here why because we always want to pay ourselves as the market is actually going in our direction, right? Once the market makes money available, find a way of paying yourself. Whether it's by trading a stop loss or getting partials, whatever method you use, make that you actually do that, right? So as the market was going in our direction, we saw the market now. We saw the market now reacting from this level right here so if you look to the depth right here you're going to realize that there was a big imbalance candle which was left behind so apparently the market was actually responding from that same level right here so you can see that the market continued to make lower lows lower highs lower lows lower highs lower low and then it created a low a, a higher low right a which broke structure which is a red flag right so once you have that it's simply telling you that there is a potential change of the market direction. And once that is there, it means that I'm likely going to get out. And that's what I did. I had to tell the community to actually get out of this particular trade right here at one to six risk reward ratio, which was pretty, pretty decent right here. And that's how I was able to get out from this particular trade. And I was able to make like a thousand dollars on this one. But I was really, really proud of how I was able to actually manage this trade in a very, very nice way. You can see that the market literally uh, responded from this level right here and went to the upside, right? So it's always important to pay particular attention to what is happening in the market so that you can actually avoid such traps, right? So the market was beautifully trending to the downside until we came to this level right here. You can see that the market was beautifully just going to the downside right here breaking nice structure but once the market came to this level we saw the market reacting then went back and then it decided to go to the upside so once this was broken i was like okay i'm going to give it a bit of a lot of time and then the market broke this low this high right here. and then the market continued to go there I was like no 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 we have to go and that's how i was able to actually tell the community to actually get out of the market and we're able to secure about um, one to six risk to reward ratio right here. So you can see it was about 20 pips. And just do that. It was, uh, yeah, it was about 20 pips right here. Exactly. About one to, it was about one to uh, six risk to reward ratio, which was about 20 pips right here. And uh, it was, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful trade. And actually, the market had gone all the way to about 1 to 12. But I mean, I had to like, my target was obviously to this level right here. But you never know. This this nice candle right here was able to cause the market to actually shift to continue to the upside. 
unfortunately we have no control over that we have no control over that and that's the reason why we have to take whatever the market gives us and just get out of the way otherwise if you're stubborn you are going to get out on a break even when you should have gotten with gotten out with about six hour or even 12 hour right so but that, that is how the market is right otherwise this week was absolutely amazing we took beautiful trades and all that actually let me just show you some of the trades that we took this week let me show you right here so this is a summary of the trades we, we took this week we took about eight trades and out of the eight trades we only won three trades out of eight but those three trades by the way none of these trades reached their full take profit so you just so, just so you know none of these trades reached their full take profit now imagine if just one hits take profit so this one was barely uh what 2.5 hour uh, this one was 16 hour uh, the target was like 1 to 30 risk reward ratio this was like a 1 to 28 risk reward ratio but through proper risk management and proper trade management, we're able to get out with beautiful, beautiful uh, risk reward ratio right here, accounting to about 19.5 risk reward ratio and 231 pips right here in profit. And we had five losses and all these losses have been comfortably covered by the three wins. And that's, how I, that's the reason why I always say it's never about the win rate, guys. It's always about risk reward ratio how much money are you going to make when the trade goes in your direction and how much money do you lose when trade goes against you losses and wins are outside our control what we can control is the the risk management we, we use how we select our our trades and everything and like i always say there is no way for you to know in advance which trade is going to go in your direction there's no way for you to know so let me show you uh the signal for gbb usd very similar to the others but this actually failed uh there's no way you'd have known that this trade was actually going to work out right these are almost the similar right the other trade was nzd usd this trade failed but it had it met all the criteria right that's what i always say there is just no way for you to know in advance what's going to happen and that's the reason why you are obligated to take all trade setup that meet your criteria if you have a proven strategy like we do you have to to take all trades that meet your criteria and that's how it is guys all right so i just thought i would share this um video with you guys and i hope truly hope you found value in this video all right if you have make sure you subscribe like the video comment in the comment section and if you'd like to be able to trade like i've showed you the first link in the description gives you access to our MNF Mastery course, which comes with lifetime mentorship and lifetime signals. Make sure you take advantage of that particular course because it's going to help you become a consistently profitable trader that I know you want to become. All right, you guys, take care of yourself as we go into this beautiful weekend and uh, let's prepare for next week. Let's come back even stronger. You guys, until next time, goodbye.